Hey y'all, Jen Hernandez, Loan with Jen. What happens the first month after closing anyway? Hey, we're back. So be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I, I post two videos a week on home buying tips. Uh, whether you're buying, selling, refinancing, there's probably something on my channel for you. So please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, what happens the month after closing? First of all, we know everyone's kind of in a daze because they just went through the loan process, they had to submit a bunch of documents, and they closed, and you're like, oh my gosh, what happened? Of course, you've got moving. Some people move in right away and some people don't. So I'm just going to assume that you moved in right away, okay? Uh, sometimes there's, uh, even when you move in, there's there's things that have to be uh, cleaned. You, you get in the house and it is just it's just normal that you get in and you are going to really see what's there. When the house is empty and you move in, you're going to see where the nooks and crannies are. You're going to see all the equipment. So there might be a few surprises on how things work. So just make sure and keep a notepad of things. There may or may not be some things that were in the inspection report. Um, sometimes some things may not have been in the scope of that. So you're really going to be familiarizing yourself with things and, and make sure that you change the keys. Make sure that you know what all the passcodes are to all of the different, you know, gadgets in the house. Um, so from a housekeeping standpoint, you're going to be getting lots of junk mail. So I just want to remind you whether you paid cash or whether you uh, had a loan, there's legal documents uh, that are recorded at the courthouse. So every person, whether you refinance, purchase, cash, loan, you are going to have junk mail. So your lender did not sell your list to the highest bidder. These are public record and the county actually sold your list to the highest bidder. So people are able to purchase these lists and they'll use them for marketing materials. So just be on the lookout. Make sure to look at everything because you don't want to miss important items from your lender. So that leads me to an important topic. If you had a loan, you're going to have your first payment letter from your lender. Now it was in your closing package, but they're also going to send it to you by mail. So be sure to be on the lookout for that and then you can get set up on, I'm sure, you know, automatic drafts and all that. Um, the next thing that you want to do is be on the lookout. There is going to be mail to, for the prior owner. You know, hopefully they change their address with the uh, local post office, but they might have missed it or there's some stuff that always trickles through. I would just be a good neighbor and I would put it in a, in a grocery bag and then, you know, make sure you know how to get in contact with the uh, prior owner and get them mail. The reason that you want to do that as well, you want to try to maintain a little bit of contact with the prior owner because there might come some things that you have questions about and so you want to have a really good working relationship with them. So hopefully that prior owner, you know, is available by email or whatever um, for you to be able to do that. So that's just, just a, a, a kind gesture to keep their mail for them and then figure out how you can uh, leave it for them to pick up on the porch or, or send it to them, okay? Um, setting up utilities, you're gonna have all that. You're gonna be setting up utilities. You, you know, Electric and gas, of course, is to make the house work. That's the very first thing that you're gonna set up, but you're gonna be setting up you know, internet and all these other things. Um, you're probably gonna need some vendors along the way, so keep in contact with your realtor. Your lender, I know when my clients reach out to me, we have lists of um, different vendors. So just know who you can reach quickly for different things. I've also found, you know, the Nextdoor app is actually a really good source. I've gotten some really good referrals on the Nextdoor app. So you want to join your communities, your areas um, next door. I, I just recommend that. I, I found that as a good kind of source um, of just, you know, blogging and, and finding out some, some vendors and stuff. Um, you're also going to be setting up, you know, gardeners, uh, if you have them, you know, pool guys, things like that. Uh, hopefully the prior owner left you some names of some people that helped them. You're also going to have some things that you find that need repair. Remember that you probably had a home warranty done at the time of closing. This very popular buyer benefit where there's a home warranty that's done, read what uh, you need to do, how you need to contact the home warranty company if that's applicable to you so they can come out and you know fix things um, for the house. So talk to your realtor about that as well if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, the other thing uh, is um, 
to remember that the first payment is going to be due depending on the day that you closed anytime between 32 and 50 days after closing so if you closed early in the month you have a long time until your first payment if you closed at the end of the month you don't have very long until your first payment so make sure all those documents are in order that they're in a safe place either scanned or put away in a, in a safety deposit box or a drawer so those are just some things to think about um, to just keep yourself straight when you first move into the house a lot of little nitpicky honeydew list things good luck on your move on your transaction hope you found this helpful please like share and subscribe Talk to you soon. Legacy Mutual Mortgage is an equal housing opportunity lender. The opinions expressed here do not reflect those of Legacy Mutual Mortgage.